Let's have some fun with free patterns. Hi, my name is Sarah and welcome. If you're new here, my channel is all about sewing and styling a handmade wardrobe. I am so thrilled to be part of the Sew Frugal vlog tour. Sew Frugal is a challenge that is hosted over on Instagram during the month of March. And it's all about making something using free patterns and using up fabric from your stash. This challenge is hosted by Ruan of the Yorkshire Sew Girl and Sam of Frugalissima. There's lots of prizes involved and I'm sure you're going to be hearing all about this challenge throughout the month from other vloggers and the sewing community. Now the theme of my video is going to be about free patterns for kibby body types. If you're just joining me, then you may not know that I very recently had my colors and my body typing done by Miriam Style, and it was a really eye-opening experience and it helped me so much in terms of trying to figure out what kinds of styles work for my particular body shape. So I thought it would be really fun to do a quick little primer on the Kibbe body types just in case you don't know anything about it, and then I will recommend a free pattern for each body type. So David Kibbe is a stylist in New York City, and he wrote a book, I forget if it was the 70s or 80s, but he came up with a system of body typing that is based on your bone structure and then how your flesh lays on that bone structure. And he has a spectrum which goes from yin, which is the softest, the most round shape, up to yang, which is the most angular, the most sharp shape. And then the, the body types are everything that's in between those two extremes. There are currently 10 Kibbe body types, and I'm not gonna go into great detail because there are entire channels devoted to Kibbe, and I will put some links in the description box in case you're learning more about the system. The reason why I like the Kibbe body type system, although I do think it has its flaws, is because by basing the clothing recommendations on your actual body frame, you're supposed to wear clothing that mimics your natural body shape, and it makes a harmonious look, and I just really like that idea. Now, as I'm describing the different body types, I will be putting up a few pictures of verified Kibbe celebrities that fit these types. Now, the problem, of course, with using celebrities is that most of us don't look like celebrities, but if you are not familiar with the different Kibbe body types at all, hopefully this is an easy way to give you an idea of what the different body shapes look like. So we're going to start with romantic and I will tell you a little bit about the body shape and then the clothing recommendations for that shape. And then I will share the free sewing pattern that I think would work well for that body type. One important thing to note is that fabric choice is really important in the Kibbe body typing system. And so a pattern might work on a variety of different body types, but the specific fabric that you use will kind of determine whether or not it looks good on that type, whether it's like a crisp fabric or a very soft fluid one. So I will also be giving fabric recommendations for the patterns as well. So starting off with romantic, I think that the quintessential romantic type is Marilyn Monroe. Very, very soft, lush, curvy, tends to be a little bit more delicate. And these people are often petite, but they're not always so. Romantics look really great in very soft, drapey, flowing fabrics with a lot of romantic details like ruffles or lace. They need waist definition and they are the most feminine of all of the body types. So the pattern that I have chosen for the romantic is from the Mood Society, and it's called the Anthea Milkmaid Dress. This pattern comes in sizes double zero up to 32. It's a very feminine dress. It has a fitted waist. It has puffy sleeves with that gathered bust detail and a full A-line skirt. Now for a romantic, I would recommend making it in a soft drapey fabric like a rayon or silk. And I think that it would drape beautifully over someone with curves. And I think that this dress is the perfect match for a romantic body type. The next body type is called theatrical romantic. Similar to the romantic, the theatrical romantic is also very curvy, but with a little bit more sharpness in their bones, a little bit more delicate, sort of bird-like. Now, as I said, I am not a Kibbe expert, and so I do find this type, I think, the most confusing to me as to what the difference is between a theatrical romantic and a romantic. The clothing recommendations are very similar for a theatrical romantic to the romantic type, except that they can have added sharp details. They can also wear stiffer fabrics than a romantic. So the pattern that I have chosen for the theatrical romantic is the Rosalie skirt from Peppermint Magazine. I believe this was designed by Forget Me Not Patterns. It comes in sizes A to P, and I believe it is a pay what you can model. And so if you are able to pay, they have suggested dollar amounts, but you can also get it for free. 
This is a long, drapey, flowy midi skirt, but it has a ruffle at the bottom. The reason why I thought it would be good for a theatrical romantic is because it has that sharp V at the hemline. So to me, it's a very flowy, very feminine skirt, but with an added sharp detail. I would not use the linen that they show in the modeled photo. For a theatrical romantic, I would choose something more fluid, like a silk or a rayon, something along those lines with more drape. The next body type is the soft gamine, and that is what I was typed as, so I have a little bit more knowledge about this type than any of the others. Soft gamines have contrasting features, so they have both yin and yang elements in their frames and their faces. They are usually quite petite and look very small. And because they are soft gamines, they have a little bit more roundedness to them rather than sharpness. So the clothing recommendations for soft gamines are to have contrasting details. So a mix of those sharp and rounded details. They need waist definition. They look best in high necklines and fitted cuffs. They tend to look really good in small rounded animated patterns and color blocking is an excellent thing for soft gamines. So the free pattern that I have chosen for the soft gamine is the Polly Peter Pan collar blouse from Tiana's Closet. This pattern comes in sizes double extra small up to five extra large. So separates are really good for the gamine types. This one has a rounded collar and cuffs. You can tuck it in to give a cropped silhouette and add waist definition. For the soft gamine, I would recommend doing the collar and cuffs in a contrasting color, and I would use a softly structured fabric, something like cotton, lawn, or poplin. Next on the list is the flamboyant gamine. Flamboyant gamines are similar to soft gamines in that they have that mix of contrasting features, but flamboyant gamines lean a little bit more towards the angular side rather than the soft side. They tend to be a little bit taller and have sharper bones. Think Audrey Hepburn. They also tend to have longer limbs with smaller frames. So the clothing recommendations for flamboyant gamine are to wear those broken lines just like with the soft gamine, lots of separates, lots of color blocking, but they can handle more tailoring and sharper shoulders and things like asymmetry look really good on flamboyant gamines. They also look really good in small geometric patterns and they can handle stiffer fabrics than any of the other types that we've discussed so far. So the free pattern that I recommend for flamboyant gamine is the Mary Quant style mini dress from v &A Museum. I believe this was designed by Allison Company Patterns. It comes in sizes 6 to 22, and this is the perfect style of dress for the flamboyant gamine. Think that 60s mod twiggy sort of style. I would use the view that has the sharp collar as opposed to the round collar. I would make it in a contrasting fabric to the dress. And that short A-line shape is just perfect for flamboyant gamines as they do not need the waist definition that the soft gamine needs. The next type is a soft classic. Now classics tend to have very balanced, moderate features. So nothing too sharp, nothing too soft, just very much in between. And of course the soft classic does lean a little bit more towards the soft side so they can use things like more delicate fabrics, a little bit more details of softly rounded things like ruffles, etc. Soft classics need symmetry and clean lines, simple shapes, soft textures. They look really good in minimal clothing designs, but in softer fabrics. So the free pattern that I have chosen for soft classic is the Annie Blouse by Sew Over It. This comes in sizes 6 to 30, and it is free as long as you sign up for their newsletter. I chose this pattern because it is a symmetrical top. It has that nice draped neckline with the gathers in the center but otherwise it's just very simple and minimal and would look really nice on a soft classic. For the soft classic, I would use a little bit of a drapier fabric, maybe like a cotton voile or something like a rayon. And I think that this would be best suited in a solid color or maybe a subtle print, nothing too big or bold. Next we have the dramatic classic. Dramatic classic is very similar to the soft classic, but they have more angularity and more sharpness in their bones and they tend to be a bit taller as well. They look best in those same clean lines that the soft classic looks good in, but they can handle more angles and more stiff fabrics. They also do not need waist emphasis as much as a soft classic does. So menswear inspired looks are really, really good for a classic as long as the fabric isn't too stiff. The free pattern that I have chosen for the soft classic is the Sarah pleated pants by the fabric store. This pattern comes in sizes zero to 30. This is a menswear style tailored pleated pants. They're not too wide, they have a straight leg. And I would use a clean, sleek, crisp fabric like a suiting for a soft classic. 
I could see a soft classic wearing these pants with a crisp white button up shirt and it would be the perfect outfit. Next up we have the soft natural. Natural body types have a bit more broadness in their bones. They tend to be sort of athletic looking. And a soft natural isn't sharp. They have more bluntness to them. So for clothing recommendations, they tend to look good in relaxed fit clothing, but with a little bit of waist definition. They can look really good in drop waist silhouettes, drapey fabrics, and soft textures. The pattern that I have chosen for the soft natural is the off the shoulder ruffled sundress which is a self-drafted dress by the company By Hand London. This does not come in sizing because it is drafted according to your measurements. And the style is a very flowy, unstructured dress with ruffles at the shoulder. And I would recommend for the soft natural to accentuate the waist with a purchased belt or make a fabric tie for a belt. I think that using a fabric like a linen or a soft cotton would be an excellent fabric choice for this particular dress. The flamboyant natural tends to be tall, but with that broad bone structure similar to the soft natural. They normally do not have defined waists, and they are more broad rather than sharp. Flamboyant naturals look really good in relaxed, unstructured clothing and layered looks, and they do not need waist definition. So the free pattern that I have chosen for flamboyant natural is the wide strap maxi dress by Peppermint Magazine. I believe this was designed by LB Textiles. It comes in sizes A to J. Now some of the recommendations, I had a little bit of a hard time finding something, but this one I think is dead spot on. It has a really bold silhouette with lots of volume. It has an unstructured waist. It's flowy and long and emphasizes that T shape. So this would really show off the shoulders of a flamboyant natural. I think that the linen fabric used in the sample is the absolute perfect fabric as well. And flamboyant naturals can use bolder patterns than some of the other types if that is something that you like. The next type is soft dramatic. These bodies tend to be long and angular, but with some curves. They're usually quite tall, but they can have fuller busts and fuller hips. The clothing recommendations for soft dramatics tend to be more tailored styles, but they can add in some softer elements, things like ruffles, some draping on the fabrics, and more bold prints. The pattern that I've chosen for soft dramatic is the Milton Pinafore from Peppermint Magazine. It comes in sizes 34 to 60, and I believe this was designed by Just Patterns. The reason I chose this pattern is because it has a sharp, deep V, so it really leans into that angular bone structure, but it has a soft A-line skirt that's a little bit more flowy and drapey and would really enhance curves. For the soft dramatic, I would use a bold print to really make your features shine. The next type is dramatic. These figures tend to be very tall and very angular with really sharp bones. Dramatics look really good in tailored garments with sharp details, structured fabrics, and in garments that emphasize their long lean lines. The free pattern that I have chosen for the dramatic is the Grasser Dress number 617. It comes in sizes 38 to 54. This is a tailored coat dress, so it's very fitted to the body. It has sharp details in both the silhouette and the neckline, and I would use a stiffer fabric, something like a heavier suiting to make this to suit a dramatic. If you enjoyed this video and you're interested in learning a little bit more about my own body typing journey, watch this video next.